darts up here. Well, Almost a 180 it. there from Whitlock, who's got work to do here. 2-0 down. Lewis has got that break of throw. If he can hold his throw here, well, real man. daylight, then a possible comfortable Lewis win would actually, if he wins 8-3, he will go above Whitlock on legs difference. If he wins 8-4, he goes level with him. 100. Now the really is the closest race so far. Taking Taylor out of the equation, of course, four semi-final places, as we mentioned, a Lewis win, just to reiterate, and there's two points separating five of them with two weeks left. He had some really, really key games coming up as Whitlock hits his first 180. Yeah. Expect more from the Australian, because he's a battler, and he's two nil down, but possibly about to make it 2-1. Yeah, 11 data maybe for the Australian. Yeah, needs to go off the mark here. This is a really good leg. Double six for Whitlock. Game well, data will do. He's on the ball. Well, if ever you wanted to see a picture of concentration, focus if you like, then seeing Whitlock there was just that picture. It really was. And that is why has become a force to be reckoned with. Former BDO World Championship finalist. 42. We all know back in January, reached the final of the PDC World Championship. There it is, yeah. Taylor through by some margin. 84. Then King, Wade, Baxter, one point between them. Whitlock a further point behind. Lewis, only two further points behind. Should he win this? Jenkins and Van Barnevelt. Well, they've just given us a fabulous contest, despite being the bottom of the table, Stuart. Yeah, and that defeat for Jenkins means he's just about out of it now. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, it was a, a big moment for Barney hitting the nine darter, and a, a big defeat for Jenkins, because he's, he's out of the, the equation, I think, now. Had he won, he'd have still been in it, but he has yeah. got to play Taylor next week. Lewis, well, play, uh, Lewis plays Taylor the final week. What's interesting is that this fellow, Whitlock, has got to play Wade. 16. I was talking about key games. Those two are going to be key, key games. Well, new darts for Lewis. He had problems with the barrel on his old set of darts. And key elements, of course. He was saying that uh, one of his friends tried to, to drill the barrel to fix it. 59. Didn't quite Asian work out, so he's had to, had to get some new darts. Rushed up for the Premier League here in Aberdeen. And he's working this out and throwing much more deliberately than we normally see. 65. And uh, Whitlock could do with a ton 80 now. Ton 40 would still give him a chance. Just put a little bit of pressure on. Good spot that, yeah. Lewis seems to have just slowed down a little bit in this match. Much more deliberate. 25, well, oh no, he's, he's missed it completely. Now he needs the ball. 40. The yeah. Whitlock had a chance Sorry, at this in the opening leg and missed it. What a good opportunity here to break for 2 2. Yeah, the first leg he got the treble 20 and uh, had two darts at the double. Good prove. Another one of those, a spectacular finish. No, oh, we've seen one double Asian double finish tonight. Ronnie packs the double 18, double top. Yeah, well. Lewis here, he's double four for three one. Big big dart for Lewis. Now oh, pulled it badly. Now Whitlock. I thought that second double top was in. It just got the slightest kiss to take it away, but uh, the same target for two all. Double ten. Could be a crucial flag. Two all. Seven it one. is. Will Lewis be made to pay for those missed doubles? Was two up, pegged back, and here is Whitlock now throwing for the lead for the first time. And then that early in the league in Manchester, Whitlock, a convincing winner, 8-4. 18. Yes, 
probably their least uh, impressive performances that night Whitlock 82.9 and uh, Lewis 83.7 uh, but uh, that 180 certainly will have up the ante as far as his average is concerned it's up at 95.6 in this match but, uh, 19 now tonight including of course 2 in that fantastic second no, leg of Ray Barnabas game against Jenkins followed by the 1-4-1 one, one finish of course, Jenkins had six perfect darts himself, well, didn't he, later in the match? I thought, I thought, just Barrington had just said, is it possible we could see two nine darters in one match? Thinking Barney might do another. And then Jenkins hits two one eighties. Fabulous stuff. You, you just know that these two know how important the next 20 minutes or so is going to be in their chase for a place at Wembley in the playoffs in the semi-final showdown. Well, eight would be a little beauty here, wouldn't it, to lose double four? Wouldn't it just? I wonder. Yeah, one either side of this. Well, there they are. Crystal ball. Well, <laughs> crystal ball! 180 from Whitlock. 87. Brilliant recovery. But Lewis here has a dart at ball. Oh, oh well, Stuart, right off the wire, yeah. I Simon think. I, I think that was just unlucky. And now Whitlock, that magical 180, forecast by Stuart Pike, and double four. Are you going to forecast this again? Well, he deserves a shot at the double after hitting those three trebles. No and he's blown it. And you would not believe that. A magnificent maximum. Well, he's missed the big number, he's missed the big 10 and hit the big 15. Nerves are playing a part here, both players. Crucial match, one dart now, one dart only at double 16. Concentration. 18. Well, the Scots are obviously favouring the uh, non-Englishman, i.e. the Aussie. And, uh, there's the double four that'll give him reason to cheer him. It's now 3-2 to Simon Whitlock having been 2-0 down. 81. Both of them have been edgy on the finishing. I can only put it down to end of night nerves. 3 out of 11 Whitlock. 2 out of 9 for, uh, for Lewis. Lewis was 2-0 up. He's chasing the game again. Yes, and this is a test of his character, Stuart, because he cannot afford to lose this game. He's got Baxter to play next week, but he's got Taylor to play in Nottingham. And Adrian Lewis knows that this is a must-win match. I don't think even a draw is good enough. No, no, you're absolutely right. If he loses here, uh, effectively, he's three points adrift of the top four. That's a terrific 180. It is a maximum. Paul Hicks. Finally seeing the last dart. Here. Difficult to see. It was sort of round the corner, wasn't it? That last dart. 326. Still two weeks to go. Yeah. If Lewis doesn't win, he's three points off with two to play. Only four points at stake, and one of those is against Taylor. Well, great pick off there, last start for Lewis to leave double eight and uh, slowing well enough average wise, 96 average but uh, trailing in the score but he should level up here. But the prettiness of Winlock keeps him in contention. Should Lewis make a bit of a big fear of this? Oh no. Deserved and Lewis! to level up, he led 2-0